so you're ready to fully upgrade your DNA, upgrade your vibration, elevate your soul, strengthen your body, mind, spirit to navigate the 5D, pay attention to this video. My name is Jose and I'm happy to share with you the teachings that have supported me and many others in our journey home. So lately we've been hearing so much about lightworkers, star seed, vibrational alignment, holy shift, staying woke, yet there's a part that I still find many of us, and I say us because there was a moment that I was also missing a very important point. Dear one, we are incarnated in flesh and bones in this earthly beautiful planet on the 3D, and there's a reason for that. We didn't come all the way here to fully ascend into another vibration. If not, we will already be incarnated in that vibration. And chances are many of you watching this have already experienced a level of vibration that is not possible on this 3D plane. Maybe you've come from the Cyrus constellation, the Pleiades, maybe from another galaxy, maybe from another dimension. But if you're watching this, it means you are unless there's an ET, hi, hi, dear beings. But if you're watching this, it means that you were incarnated, same as me, on this planet. And there's a reason, not to elevate and flee the planet, but to really master our earthly gifts and to share from a place of love and heart our gifts, our purpose, and really elevate and support others that might be navigating confusing moments right now and we know that right now all over the world it's a very chaotic moment some of you might be thinking that it's the end of the world might be thinking that the darkness is overcoming the light but rest assured that it's everything as it's supposed to be all this pressure all this tension, all this stress, all this death, all this misinformation, all this pain and drama and trauma. It's exactly the right ingredients that we called upon us, the beautiful human race, to wake the fuck up. So this is the call for you, dear one, to stop waiting for the Messiah, to stop waiting for the chosen one and acknowledge that it's you who's going to save yourself. I cannot save you. I can just inspire you to save yourself. Any spiritual teacher, a guru, an ascended master, even avatars from other dimensions that many still consider them teachers. We're incarnated in this planet, same as Jesus, same as Buddha, same as Muhammad. They all came here to show us that we have the tools within ourselves if we slow down enough, if we listen enough to awaken ourselves. And many people think, well, Jesus Christ came to save the planet. And I don't think that's actually what happened. He came just to self-realize himself, show us the recipe, which we all will change in different ways because we're all very different individuals on this dimension. But show us that it's possible, that it's possible to transcend flesh and bones that show us to transcend the limitations of our mind and, and transcend what we call physical death. But He didn't come to save us. As many people think, oh, He came, Jesus is our Savior. No, He saved Himself. If not, He would have taken all of us at once to a higher dimension. So stop waiting for somebody. Dear light worker, dear starseed, dear indigo childs watching this or tell your friends, tell your family, nobody's coming for you. And if we are here as multidimensional beings, because even though I've been saying that we're here to experience the human nature of being human, to experience all what it takes to be human, the highs, the lows, the pains, the loves, we're also able to experience other dimensions. But in the spiritual world, many people are just looking for these ecstatic awakenings, this moments of bliss but life is not only that we're very good at transcending our human nature by 
think it's the time to embrace the human qualities that lies within each one of us. And it's also a message to acknowledge that it doesn't matter how many times you've suffered. It doesn't matter how many times you've been hurt or you've hurt others. You have the opportunity right here, right now, to choose a different present moment which will define the destiny you're heading towards. Because so many are focusing on the future and they are missing the most important thing, the most important moment, which is the present moment. And I truly believe that we are building our destiny by breathing in the present moment. And speaking of breathing, I want to encourage and invite you right now to wherever you're watching this video, whatever time it is, to stop everything, put everything on pause and stand up. I love standing up because it brings a sense of firmness, power. I'm way more active in my brain. I'm more present than in the couch. So once you're standing up, I want you to close your eyes. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Ah. Inhale through your nose deeply. Exhale. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, say ah. Connecting the ah sound, the outer breath, all the way to the ground, to the center of the core of the earth. Connecting the, with the crystal core of Mother Earth. Inhale again, all the energy from the crystal core of Mother Earth coming up to the roots of your feet. Inhale, 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 hold your breath, keep your eyes closed. Exhale, say ah, And stay there with your eyes closed. Observe and witness the sounds of nature, of water, of birds, of all the creatures of creation. And all these sounds are a reminder that you already live in paradise. And if where you're living is not fulfilling your heart, if where you're living is not the most conducive place for a multidimensional being, slowly start to imagine in your mind what does an ideal place look for you. Yes, it's true that home is wherever we are, but there's places where you as a beautiful flower can flourish and share all your light in an even much better way. Stay connected and start to feel your vibration being elevated. And we're not elevating our vibration to go somewhere else, but we're elevating our vibration to be able to be in full service here on this dimension, on this incarnation. I'm going to invite you to keep your eyes closed and bring your hands in front of you with the palms facing up. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. Repeat after me. I know who I am. I know my purpose. I know my truth. Inhale through the nose. Hold your breath. Exhale. I am in service. I am divine. I am God. Inhale through the nose. Hold your breath. Feel your heartbeat. Feel your power coming. Expanding through each cell of your body. Exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, repeat after me. I activate the multidimensional being within me. I activate my psychic gifts. I activate my third eye. I can see, I can see, I can see. Now open your eyes and start to breathe normally. What can you see now, dear one? As you choose through the power of shifting your mindset, of shifting your energy into a higher state, into a higher octave, without forgetting of your human nature and staying grounded to the earth through breath work, through nature walks, even walking in the park barefoot, do whatever it takes. But have a practice that allows you to start to see deeply into this holographic canvas, which is the planet we're living. And as you start to strengthen your psychic abilities, you're going to be able to really enjoy your human experience much, much more 
than before. This is like going from an old 1950s movie into a full 3D IMAX. You start to see all these layers. And this means, dear one, activating your multidimensional nature, but also your multidimensional psychic abilities. If you're watching this video, it means you are ready to do the work. So rest assured that whatever you are going through, whatever you're navigating as a human being, you are held, you are heard, and you are supported. Maybe you can start to see around you all these light beings, high Christ consciousness beings that are cheering you up, that are supporting you, that are here in service to you, but they can't do the work for you because they're not from this dimension. They can support you, they can allow codes to come into you, but it's you who has to wake up in the morning and say, I'm doing the work, and it becomes workless because I know it's a work of love. And that's something I remind myself all the time. Sometimes I get carried by this mission of saving and empowering millions, millions of people around the world to transcend the illusion of fear and activate their full alignment of body, mind, spirit. But sometimes I think I can't do it. Sometimes I think it's just too much. But then I'm reminded that that is an old program. And when I remember that I'm an infinite being and I'm God being represented through this body vessel that I called Jose or I, it was called Jose a new sense of strength comes and I know that there's nothing that is out of my reach there's nothing that is impossible and as the wise wise words that I first I don't know who wrote them but I heard them for the first time from Napoleon Hill Napoleon Hill, he wrote the book Think and Grow Rich, which is a great book, by the way, not to only grow rich, but to grow in general. And we're here as humans to grow. He always reminds us, whatever you can hold in your mind, you can hold in your hand. So dear one, dear light worker, star seed, whatever your mission is in this incarnation, know that if you can hold that image in your mind long enough, soon you'll be walking into your vision being accomplished because we are all here for a great mission for a great purpose you just have to believe in yourself and to support you on this path of believing in yourself i have a free guided breath work if you go in the description below where i guide you through a 20 morning 20 minute morning priming routine that will leave you feeling great energized centered connected and awake and it's free so just make sure to download it to, so you can also feel empowered every single morning and don't forget to subscribe share the video with people that might also be navigating these 5d ascension symptoms and maybe it's also forgetting of the human nature and mission that we all have in this incarnation and don't forget to comment below i love to see your comments i love to see what's working for you what you want to hear and most important, don't forget to share the love. Namaste.